on this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and remove images from an image slider. So when you're logged into the back end of your website or the dashboard, scroll down to where it reads Soliloquy and then click on Soliloquy and this will bring you to the page where it lists the home or the sliders that you have created. So right now we have one slider created and that's our home page slider one. So to add or remove images, click on the title of the slider and it will show the images that are currently part of that slider right here. So if we wanted to add images to the slider, click on click here to upload images and then where it shows from computer make sure that that is selected or clicked and then click on select files and we're going to pull them our drive here and as you can see the progress bar there for adding them and I want to add three images So once I'm done adding all three images, I will click on the Save All Changes button at the bottom. and then click on save all changes again and then close this out and it shows all six of the images the three that were originally there plus the three others that I added and then click on update and it will have updated the images. So to show you the images, I will go to the home page. And it shows all six different images here. And I can quickly move through there. There's the first that I up uploaded. There's the second and here's the third. So that is how you add images to a image slider. If I want to delete them, all I need to do is click on the red button here that has a dash in it. and it will remove it. Then I will click update and if I want to view you'll see that I only have five images now and the one image that was originally the first image has been removed. So that is how you add and remove images from an image slider. Now the one thing I did do before recording this video is I did find the images and I had them sized to the size of the image slider. And you can see what the size of the image slider is just beneath the images there. It's 600 by 350. And of course I can change that if I would like to as well 
but for this particular tutorial we're going to keep that as is but that's what the size of the images were that we're using in this particular slider so it's important and helpful to do that prior to adding them to the image slider it'll make things look a lot better and more professional in the slider